everyone and welcome back to my channel so in this video i'm going to be showing you guys a diy that can help with hair growth as well as help with a healthy scalp if you are interested in this video then please stay tuned the first ingredient that you're going to need for this diy is going to be one aloe vera leaf aloe vera contains vitamins a c and e all three of these vitamins contribute to cell turnover and promoting healthy cell growth if hair follicles are blocked with excessive sebum, dirt, or dead skin cells, they won't be able to grow properly. Aloe vera can help by cleansing the scalp so more nutrients can penetrate the hair follicle, helping hair to grow faster and more efficiently. Also, aloe vera acts as a great conditioner and leaves your hair all smooth and shiny. It promotes hair growth, prevents itching on the scalp, reduces dandruff, and conditions your hair. The second ingredient is going to be a quarter cup of butterfly pea flowers. Butterfly pea flowers is excellent for hair because it contains anthocyanin, a compound known to increase blood circulation in the head and therefore maintain a healthy scalp. It also helps in strengthening hair follicles from within. It is considered one of nature's most effective ingredient for promoting hair growth and darkening hair naturally. So the first step to this DIY is that we're going to place the butterfly pea flowers into a pot of boiling water. I have about a cup and a half boiling on the stove and we're going to allow this to Boil for about 10 minutes or until the flowers have softened up. So after about 10 minutes, I'm going to go ahead and remove the pot from the stove and allow the tea to cool down. Now when it comes to the aloe vera, I'm just going to go ahead and remove the gel from the inside of the aloe vera and place that into the bowl. Just before Thanksgiving 1995, I found out that I was going to make $10 million dollars and dollars and dollars. So now you just want to take the aloe vera gel and place it into a blender as well as the butterfly pea tea that we boiled earlier and we're going to place that into the blender as well.
So after you've blended everything together, then you want to go ahead and strain the mixture. You don't want to get chunks of aloe vera stuck into your hair. So when it comes to the shelf life of this hair mask, you want to place it into the refrigerator when not in use and it will last one to two weeks in the refrigerator. And if you want it to last longer than that, you could place it into the freezer and it would last about three to six months. So when it comes to the use of this hair mask, you want to place this hair mask all over your hair from root to ends and then you want to leave it on your hair for about 30 to 45 minutes. Then after that, you'll rinse it out with warm water and you'll follow up with your favorite shampoo and conditioner. You can use this hair mask every two weeks or as often as you wash your hair. If you are protein sensitive, you may wanna do a strand test before you apply this hair mask all over your hair. And I would also suggest maybe using it once a month or once every two months. Also, if you do have light color hair, whether that's gray hair, blonde hair, or um, you recently dyed your hair a lighter color, if you do use this hair mask, it will most likely stain your hair. So I would recommend that you probably not use this hair mask. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Also head over to Creole Lily, where these ingredients are also featured in my hair products. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.